Welcome to our tutorial on how to import variable products in WooCommerce from a CSV file. WooCommerce is a popular e-commerce platform that allows you to create and manage an online store easily. As you know, WooCommerce provides its users to create variable products, which allows you to offer different variations of a product, such as different sizes, colors, or options. Instead of creating separate product listings for each variation, you can create a single variable product and define attributes and variations within it. Importing variable products can save you time and effort, especially when dealing with a large number of products. So, let's get started. Step 1. Prepare your CSV file. Ensure that your CSV file contains all the necessary information for importing variable products. Each row in the CSV file should represent a separate product, and the columns should contain relevant data such as SKU, title, price, attributes, variations, and more. Make sure to include a column that indicates whether the product is a variable product or not. Step 2. Go to WooCommerce and click All Products menu. Here you will find in Build Import features to import WooCommerce products. Step 3. Configure the import settings. In the import settings, click on the Show Advanced Options link. Here, you can configure various settings related to the import process. For example, you can specify the delimiter used in your CSV file, map the columns to their respective WooCommerce fields, and choose how to handle existing products. Step 4. Upload and map your CSV file. Click on the Choose File button to select the CSV file you prepared earlier. It will attempt to map the columns automatically, but make sure to review the mappings to ensure everything is recognized correctly. Step 5. Run the import. Once you've configured all the settings, click on the Run the Importer button. It will start importing the products from your CSV file and create the variable products in WooCommerce. You'll see a progress indicator to track the import process. Step 6. Review and update product variations. After the import process is complete, it's essential to review each variable product and its variations in the WooCommerce admin area. This step ensures that all the variations are set up correctly. Make any necessary adjustments or additions as needed. And that's it, you have successfully imported variable products into WooCommerce using a CSV file. It's important to test the import process with a small set of products first to ensure everything works as expected before importing a large number of products. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful in streamlining your product import process. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out.